All right, what's up, guys? So for those of you that are not aware of what's going on now, the reboot vans are officially going to be coming into Fortnite within the next upcoming week. So next Tuesday, when the big update drops, which is the update that we'll see the new skins for the next upcoming two weeks, that is going to be the significant update for next week. And that update itself is going to have finally the reboot vans now the reboot vans work a little bit different than i thought they were going to work but they're very similar to what we've seen in other games like apex legends and we've seen in realm royale now a lot of people think that they got this from apex legends i don't think they did if they got this from any game out there i think it was probably realm royale because realm royale has been around for a long time and it was probably the only battle royale game that i've seen that has the ability to, to respawn your teammates the way the reboot vans work is as follow first off you got to know that there's two things okay there's the reboot van which is also known as a respawn van and then there's a reboot card if you don't pick up the card you are not able to revive your teammates now from what i've seen in the trailer it looks like the card might have a duration of about 90 seconds or so after that time is gone and you haven't picked up the reboot card, then it pretty much means you are not allowed to revive your teammate. In addition to that, when you are respawned by a teammate, keep in mind you will not come back with the weapons that you had before. Everything will be gone, so make sure, again, that your friends, uh, you know, our friends that you're playing with, that will give you guns. If not, that you gotta start from scratch. Once you have respawned your entire squad, the respawn van or the reboot van will be unavailable. It will be disabled for a duration of time in which they have not disclosed yet. When you are using the reboot van or the respawn van, it's actually going to project this type of laser up in the sky and it's going to allow enemies around you to know that you're rebooting your entire squad. So I guess it adds a little bit of like suspense to the moment or just to the whole scenario. It's literally not just get the reboot cards, put the chip inside the van, hide somewhere and let your teammates come in. No, people will know that you're rebooting your whole squad, which is kind of crazy. Now, as far as locations as to where these vans are going to be, it is said that they will be only in the major POI. So possibly parts of the map that have names like Tilted Towers, Salty Springs, Retail Row, Pleasant Park. It, it just won't be in a random location. It's going to be in major POIs. And finally, I want to clarify that there was some speculation saying that when you get rebooted, you spawn in the air and you glide down. No, it looks like you're actually going to reboot on top of the van where that little circle is. It's kind of like a little platform where you just pretty much teleport there and you'll start all over again. How many times can you be rebooted in an entire match? I, I really don't know. But I do want to end this video, and I apologize that today's videos have been a little short and kind of news-wise. I normally like to bring gameplays and stuff, uh, but tomorrow's my daughter's birthday, and uh, your boy's got stuff to do. Siphon will be coming back eventually, or some sort of siphon. I mean, personally, why have a reboot van when when there is no siphon i mean the entire problem with siphon was that you were getting thirsted which by the way you still get thirsted when you play in teams people will still kill you immediately it's like everybody's already adapted to that the whole purpose of the reboot van was pretty much if you get thirsted it doesn't matter you can still come back because there's a van in which your friend or teammate can revive you why did it take out siphon i don't know i think once they realize after the vans are in the game getting thirsted is really not that serious anymore just because you could still come back and you don't really have to wait for your friend to finish the game or wait for him to die or whatever i think they're going to be working if not they are already working on a way to bring back siphon possibly not the same way i hope they do but i think in a different manner i i really do think that this is going to be something that they're really just not talking about it just yet but they are working on this behind closed doors anyways i just want to make sure i clarified how these reboot vans work because there's a couple of things that I didn't know were going to be like this, like, you know, how long it's going to be for and, and, you know, people are actually going to know that you're reviving your teammates, et cetera, et cetera. And I know the time I'm recording this, some of you guys are in school or just not home yet or not playing and you really don't know. And just keep in mind that there are some consequences to reviving your teammates. So make sure you do it at the right time. Is the reboot van a good feature for the game? I personally think it's possibly one of the best features they've done in a long time. Let me know how you guys feel. And I hope you guys are excited. Fortnite's next update will indeed finally have the reboot vans.